We know and we recognize our day-to-day -day life uh, will be quite different for a while. District leaders say they are protecting 36,000 students and 6,000 employees as the effects of COVID-19 crippled the typical school year within Cincinnati Public Schools. This isn't something that I ever thought that I would see or live through in my lifetime. Superintendent Laura Mitchell says the district is working through a pandemic plan, sanitizing schools while they're closed. They're also providing homework packets for students to help them learn away from their classrooms. Meals will continue at Cincinnati Public Schools over the next three weeks when schools are closed. Starting tomorrow, they will provide meals to children ages 1 and up at 24 school sites from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. for pickup only. They say on Mondays and Wednesdays, students will get two breakfast and lunch meals, and on Fridays, one breakfast and lunch meal. Officials say children must be present, but they don't have to be a CPS student. Mitchell says six school-based health centers will remain open for use by the Cincinnati Health Department. It's a situation they say they'll assess by the minute. We know that there is a light at the end of this tunnel and we will be prepared to receive our kids when school is reopened. All right, so those six health centers that are going to remain open include Aiken High School, Mount Airy, and the Dater and West High School campus. School officials say they also plan to pass out lessons and information to parents at key locations. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. All right, Dan.